I want to get the preliminary thought, really, of uh, Council uh, Sam Okujeto there. I mean, we are looking at deploying the military, but as I said earlier, this is not the first time that we send the military to our forest or areas infested with, with illegal mining. And there's a saying that you cannot really find success until you've been able to identify what your failures are. And so we would admit here that, indeed, there's been a failure on our part over the years. Well, isn't it possible that the cooperation that is ne needed with the various agencies, and as the Carlos. Carlos has said, particularly the chiefs who are the owners of the land, the headmen, the assembly members, all of them are important in this subject. And I recollect that maybe some four years or even five years ago, the Council of State actually had a seminar where they invited the kids from those areas and others and showed them videos about water pollution, the effects, and the rest of them. And they promised, all of them, that they will go and ensure that this illegal mining should not participate. But all we hear now is that there is even an increase in the matter. And I even remember that we went to the western region and saw the river and cobra. Eh? We, we went by air. So we flew and you can just see the yellowness of the water all around. And it is scary and frightening because unless there's cooperation, cooperation between the chiefs, hmm? the assembly members, the MPs, the DCE. the DCE, and the political parties. The political party, I'm emphasizing these political parties, that they all need to come to a consensus on the matter. Because it looks like somebody is blaming someone on the radio, or on television, or in the newspaper. But oftentimes you find out that those who are doing the blame are themselves the one doing the thing. I'm glad you talk about political parties because you are in a position where you can advise the president, a man who put his presidency on the line. Would you say that the Council of State, after reviewing these things, perhaps also went to sleep and didn't really push to ensure that we stopped this, and now we are where we are? Well, I'm not here to defend Council of State or to speak for the Council of State, so let's be careful now the way you are going about it. What I'm telling you is that the Council of State had wind about this illegal mining and that they took the trouble to call a whole derba at the uh, International Conference Center where all these big chiefs all came with all the people involved. Videos were shown by us with uh, what's called the Council for, uh, what's the name, NCCR? CSIR. CFR. With all that was done, you said they went to sleep. We are no policemen. Council of State is not a policeman. Council of State can only bring consciousness to other, both the presidency, the political parties, and the rest of them. What did you tell them? No, you are still jumping the matter. I'm just telling you that this is what happened. We now hear that this matter is going completely out of hand now, to the extent that people say they are going to do a demonstration. We hear political parties attacking one another. And I'm saying that, why don't they rather come and sit down together and plan a course of action involving the chiefs, perhaps even threatening the chiefs. To say, because as you, you know, Otunfo this sacked these two, three of his chiefs, prominent chiefs, because they were involved in what? Galamse. In Galamse. And if the political parties and the government opposition, and all those people are all uh, uh, forming political parties and say they are going to stand for election. If all of them can sit together and say, enough is enough. Let's stop this thing because it is detrimental to the progress of the country. Because so far as I am con personally concerned, is the water that I'm worried about. The water that is no longer possible.
for the Water and Sewage Corporation to purify those waters for safe drinking. If I if somebody even tell me that they are purifying in a cabidron, I would just say that it's not true. I would say it's not true. You know why? Because we are talking about mercury and uh, what? Cyanide. And cyanide. You can't, you can't, there's nothing you are going to use. There's no chemical that I'm aware of which is available to clean the water that have been contaminated. So I want to get you clearly. You're, you're saying that instead of those people going on a protest, they could have come together on uh, and had a conversation on the way forward. So you're against that protest that was held? No, 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 no. Hey, anybody who says you want to protest, that's his business. I have no right. As a lawyer, I cannot tell that somebody does not have a right to protest or to march. I cannot say that. All I am saying is that in Ghana, we like to oppose rather than making suggestions that it would be better for us to make suggestions as to how we can solve the problem and what you are asking me now is the suggestion that i am making to the effect that why don't the political parties sit down together but what advice what advice is the council of state of which you are a member are you giving the president about this very issue why do you talk you? about advising the president i keep warning you all the time because every time you jump on this issue and you talk about what advice that the council of state give i say what the council of state advise the president the council of state give the president is not something that i am supposed to come and tell you or something i'm supposed to come and parade on radio or television well, people want to know because no, this please, is a man who put please his just get it line. quite clear. That's the, that is not the role that the council is supposed to play. If the council goes to the president and advise the president, that's a matter between the council and the president. I am not even the spokesperson for the council to go on, on television and making an announcement that this is what we advise the president. So please just get that quite clear. You are asking me as a Ghanaian, as an individual, I am telling you that my view is that much of the problems of this country, not only Galamsey only, a lot of the problems this is the country can easily be resolved if those who are making the opposition, those who are doing or acting or not acting, can all sit down together and jaw jaw and they could be able to find solutions. This is my view. Mm, Doc, I'll come to you very shortly, but I want what? to get a, the, the view of Professor Stephen Aday. Listening to the illegal miner give this information and indeed the preliminary comment of, of, of lawyer Samu Kujeta, I'm, I'm just wondering what's going through your mind. Several things, and I'm glad you're asking me to react because I'm not an expert in the mining as such. But first of all, I want to make it clear that your footing is not representative. Yeah. There's far worse and widespread. And when Carlos was talking about, he mentioned a man's here is going on very close to my house in uh, Adansi, but I recently passed through Denchira to Wasa, I mean, Fi to Wasa, uh, Fiasi, and if you go there, what you are showing is like the tip of an iceberg. It's far, far worse. And the danger Ghana is facing is bigger than going just to the eastern region. So that's the, the first thing. It's a bigger menace. Number two, I think that Carlos is right. This is... Uh, we call it an evil coalition between politicians, mm -hmm. that of chiefs, mm -hmm. and the security agents on the ground. They have their district uh, security uh, coordinators, and uh, I don't think that it, there's any serious action mm -hmm. going on there. I had the, uh, whether the fortune or misfortune, of stating that, especially for our rivers and the forest, there must be a declaration of a national emergency. And a lot of made out of it, headlines in the, but the basic thing is this, we are talking about the life of a nation. Even the water river is not exempt mm. because they are now mining the top tributaries. So, the, and if it continues, you will not get it only uh, poisoned, 
but also with all this debris and everything else. We have all the rivers, the Brim, the Tano, the Cobra, the, all of them. So I think that whether it is the chiefs and everything else, and I like, I must say, that the Ghanaian civilian community and leadership have started acting because this, if that had not occurred, parliament will not be meeting tomorrow because they will talk about uh, NDC as if it's a relative. When we were there, we did this. Yeah. But no, it is a lie. Yeah. It has been escalating. Yeah. For the past 20 years or so, and getting worse every day. Get, getting worse every day. So you're saying that we're not doing enough. So uh, do I hear you say that whatever measures the government says it is putting in place now, including sending some soldiers, is a charade? Well, what is being done today, to, up to now, we haven't done enough for that, and I won't be here. But I think that some positive steps are occurring. Okay, okay just going to revoke that law that allows mining in the, in the forest. I think it's a first step. I believe that that law itself was put in place so that the politicians and the allies could seriously rape Ghana before they would then take this action, because they have seen this all the time. But at least now, it, the revocation is the second has to do with using modern technology. Mm -hmm. Drones, my dad just mentioned when we're coming here. We can monitor all our rivers 24 hours. hours. But Fimpon Boateng brought that thing out with that technology and we don't seem to have taken it seriously. And it is available. It's available now. We must, as Ghanaians, yeah. insist yeah. on it. And also allow the government and the security agents when therefore and this should be done open that's right it's not that you know it's being done and it's being kept so like the, we do with the declaration of assets you know you can steal as much as you want because nobody will ever open your envelope and that's what we see being done every time no this thing and you could help when the drones go you will then project it and people who are poisoning us must be dealt with surgically. These things must be destroyed on the spot, and we shouldn't allow them, especially in the river bodies and in our forests. I want to come to you, Dr. Tony Edu. You've heard uh, Obin. Tony Obin. Obin. <laughs> you've heard. <laughs> you've heard. <laughs> they you heard. your name. That's right. <laughs> I said, see no change. All former documents are valid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you've heard, uh, you've heard the uh, Carlos, the illegal miner, giving us his bit, and having listened to where we are now, you've been there before as a former CEO of the Minerals Commission. Uh, first, your preliminary thoughts, and then we'll go into some of the alternative measures that, at this stage, where everybody seems to be against it, we want to end it. What we need to look at going forward. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I, I couldn't agree more with all that has been said here. They are all true, very, very true, and especially coming from Carlos, who is actually the, 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 this, uh, this animal that lives in water, yes. crocodile, crocodile, who just come out, or, or a fish that has come out to say crocodile is dead. It may be. So, so I think it's, it's very sad, very worrying. Now, I, I think that the, Ghana is probably the only country or maybe uh, mining is the only economic activity that moves from small scale to large scale. And then in between, there's nothing there. But what we see is something above small scale and probably below large scale. Mm -hmm. What we see is something less than Anglo Gold Ashanti, but bigger than the small scale that uh, Carlos would be doing. Mm -hmm. So there's a problem. There's a problem of enforcing our laws mm -hmm. and, and, and actually ensuring that the regulations, because the laws are there. For instance, uh, Prof said mining on water bodies. Mm -hmm. Our laws are very clear. It's you illegal. can't mine on water bodies. It's a no, 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 no. Yeah. So if mining is going on in water bodies, it, it, it must worry us quickly. But who will bear the cut? Who will stop them? Then they say the small scale mining is only for uh, Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. But then you see people who don't 
the physical, you cannot look up these days because of, because of uh, naturalization. You can't say that, but otherwise. There are some people that you see, they look Caucasian, they look like they come from China, right. and then they are actively there. That's right. But, but I know, but, but our law says nobody apart from Ghanaian. So when you see them, there shouldn't be any problem at, at all. Arrest and question them. Or mm. arrest and, and the laws are there. There were some time passed that there were no clear laws about even the equipment that were used in the, in the, in the, in, in the mine, in, you know, but now there's a law. Uh, even the punishment, it was, I had been in court when uh, somebody who had conducted serious galamse and uh, they just gave him some two, one month or something. So, the, but the law these days, the punishment are very stiff. Very severe. But yes, but, but we are unable to enforce. So the, the, the current effort, I think, um, a, a probably good as a preliminary effort, but we need a more sustainable uh, uh, effort than, than, than just because, you know, this is the third time in the last decade and a half or so that we are actually using the military. 2013, mm -hmm. military was deployed and then uh, after a while we stopped because it is not sustainable. And then 2017, 2018, Mass military right. went out. Now the funny, and then this one. That we, have we sat down to to learn what happened? You know, in the period where we're using the militaries, what 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 were the issues? If I, and, you, might, you might talk about evaluation. Evaluation. Yeah. You know, I don't think we've done that. We just come and then we start doing something. Knee-jerk approaches. Now, now I also think that um, uh, for me, sometimes even the people are supposed to stop. Mm -hmm. They themselves, sometimes they come and see the beauty of the game yes. and they join. You just heard Carlos there yes. talking about yes. the Minerals Commission. Yes, I, yes. I, I know. When I want to commission, you, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, the, the Forestry so Commission, I keep saying Minerals Commission. Minerals commission. You I'll report, I will report to you to them. <laughs> yes, the Forestry yeah. Commission. So, so I, I think the Minerals Commission give them the permission. That's, to do that's it. Right. No, no, no. Illegal mining, Mineral permission, Mineral Commission will give you a permit to go and do illegal mining. But the problem is that. five hundred. Uh, mines, uh, uh, licenses, yeah, the, the but the problem is that it's actually legalizing illegality. Yeah, the problem, the problem is that uh, you have these big, you know, in, in those days, the history behind our regular, regularization of small scale mining. I think the thinking was that it was going to be pickaxes and shovels. But if you look at the law, how it was made, the thinking was that simple implement would be used. And that is why. We were not complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, that is because they were not destroying water bodies. They were not destroying farms. So we knew that the gold was there. We needed to buy uh, to mine because after all, God was not. Uh, I don't want to use a word. Uh, he was, God was <laughs> smart enough to say, "Ghana, get gold. Other countries don't get it." So, but God was trying to say that, please mine it responsibly. He didn't curse us with them. He endowed us and blessed us with the gold and all those it's things. In Genesis. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But now we are mining and cursing ourselves mm -hmm. by polluting our water body. So that's, that's the problem. I think we need to, for me, my, my proposal has been there even at the commission. I left some things there. One, I think we need to recategorize mining mm -hmm. so that you have some middle belt, you know, middle of the road. Uh, because those who do it now with excavators, trammels, and all this, they are not people who are aching out a living. They are not callous type of people. No, no, no. They are people who are making money. money yeah. I have seen studies, that, uh, uh, a scientific study, that indicated a, a particular mine, one mine every week, every two weeks, $24 million. Sometimes not 24, not 24 million cities. $24 million. So, you know, this man cannot rent excavator. Now, it is 8,000. This, uh, when I we were talking, I thought it was 4,000. Now the prices have gone up. 8,000 a day. So, he, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe now he can, but when he started, <laughs> when he started, he couldn't have couldn't afford, it. afford it, you know. So, it's a real business that we need to clearly put bonds and then the, you know, regulate them differently. When you go to the large scale, the reason why our institutions, our regulatory institutions are able to regulate the large scale better is because there are only 16. 16 large scale mines in this country, major proper large scale mines, 16. So anything that happens, the Minas Commission knows, they will go there. Anything that happens, uh, uh, EPA will go there. 
if there's, there's some sanctions, they will do it quickly. But this one, a lot of, you know, excavations, a lot of mutilations. In my own western region alone, the estimate is that uh, there are about 11,000 spots. Wow. Hot spot of Galamse, 11,000. In the whole country, about 500,000 500, spots. So, so they are, it becomes so difficult to, 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 to handle. But I think one, I support the water bodies, it, they must, it must be stopped. It doesn't, for me, whether it's emergency or state of emergency, it just has to stop because the law says don't do it. 